Let's go all YouTube. Does anyone want to build an AM transmitter? On toilet paper? Stick around. Let's find out how to do it. Hello, boy. OK, yes, so after that bit of shenanigans... Yeah, let's all go YouTube. Um, <laughs> oh, maybe I should have been a vlogger. No. What we have on the bench today is Bob Gibbons' uh, circuit for an AM transmitter. This is something Bob put together and I've blatantly stolen it from his video but rather than copy his completely, I thought I'd go a little bit different. And today we're going to make this circuit. And instead of doing it on a circuit board, we're going to use toilet paper. And we're not going to use this much toilet paper. We're going to use a single sheet of toilet paper to make this AM transmitter. I did think about using cardboard. It does work, but let's try something different, shall we? Let's make a transmitter on paper, toilet paper, because, because we can. So how do we transfer this to toilet paper? First of all, we've got to work out how we're going to solder onto toilet paper. And I've been through, and I've actually used this before, and this is copper foil with a sticky back. Now you can get this from art shops, you can get this from hobby stores, you can buy it off the internet very cheaply. What we're going to do is like we did in the other AM transmitter, instead of using nails to solder at the joins, we're going to use the copper foil. If I move the circuit diagram to the side, this shows up and this is the layout of this in a very simple manner. These square boxes here, 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 I'll just colour them all in, and this long one at the bottom, they're all copper foil. And all you have to do with these is stick them to the toilet paper. Then you actually solder directly to the copper foil. The trick with this is not to melt the plastic underneath and not to set fire to the toilet paper. So we're going to have some fun here because if I get it wrong we're going to see more smoke than just the solder. We might actually see burning toilet paper on the desk. <laughs> We've got to try haven't we? We've got to try. The easiest thing to do is to, is to just get on with it. Now if I move the circuit diagram over to the side because I don't need it right now. You might notice at the top of the bench here I've got the components all laid out, not those, they're extras from a previous project, but we have the resistors, we have the inductor, we have another capacitor, transistor, uh, capacitors, I, know, I knew what they were called, they're capacitors, and another capacitor which are all the variables that are needed. Now I've gone to use the same transistor as the one that Bob used. So let's start out with the copper foil and you can either cut it with a knife, cut it with scissors, or in this case I'm just going to use, not those ones, I'll use the nice ones, the ones with a slightly sharper edge. I'll use these and we need one, two, three, four, five, six squares and a stripe. So let's just get one, two, three, get off, four, five, let's do another one, five, because that last one flipped over somewhere in the distance, six, and a stripe. So let, let's get a stripe, it's probably going to be overkill, but there we go. So where's that other that other one there? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can lay these out. We can start with the big one first and we just put it on the toilet paper. Like that. 
Yeah, go on. Lay flat. Now, this isn't a perfect science. This is not the most professional way to build anything. After all, how much electronics have you seen built on a sheet of white toilet paper? Shall I get rid of the white the white paper behind it? Probably, yes, I think I will. If I move those down to there, those down to there, let's move that to there. So I'm going to keep it on the side because I'll want to look at how I've drawn things and make sure I put things in the right place. But there we go. So we've got the long piece in and then looking at the the rest of the drawing, right, we need one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks! So there's the basics. It really is that simple. You just stick these to the, the toilet paper. Now, where shall we start? Probably the beginning is the best part. So if I refer to the circuit diagram, it will say, OK, let's start with um, this is the earth line that we've got running along the bottom. So we don't need to worry too much about that. Let's start here with this resistor, which goes in from the power supply. So th this is this is where you get your your nine volt rail from, and that's limited with a twenty seven k resistor. And this one has to go between there and there. Now, rather than cut that off, I'm actually going to bend this end up so that we can put a clip lead on it. So let's get the soldering iron, solder, and do our first join. And yes, I've got a brand new tip on the soldering iron. I'm going to just put a blob of solder on the foil to start, and a blob just on the component to tin the lead. Oh, there we go. Let's untangle that from that. Let's just make sure it goes to the right section. Now, if you like your fingers, you won't do that because that gets slightly warm, I think is the phrase I could use. So we'll just solder that one to there like that. And while we're here at this end of the board, I'm going to just put a blob of solder on each of these. that. Let's just turn that upright so that we've got our clip lead facing upwards. There we go. That is our toilet paper transmitter. Shall we see if it works? That's the easiest test, isn't it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our little MP3 player. And remember what I said about uh, using the clip leads? Well, these are just clip leads. This one is audio positive. This one is audio negative. This is the power supply from the bench. Now you can use a nine volt battery. There's nothing to stop you doing that. But uh, seeing as I've got the bench supply, I'm just going to uh, run it on the bench supply and clip that in. Move those out the way and let's switch on the power supply. 
which was preset to 9 volts already. Now, in theory, that's transmitting and it's all finished and it's all done and we can all go home. But you're going to want to see it working. First of all, let me switch on the MP3 player and see if I can get it to play. And just to prove that it's not a an off-air signal. Now you must have heard this tune a million times on YouTube. What I'm doing now is I'm just getting a clip lead, just a straight clip lead. So there we are, you now have the toilet paper transmitter. So let's turn that off for the moment. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click that button. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you click the little bell icon, you'll actually get notifications of all my upcoming videos. Now, if you want to leave comments, they are appreciated. I'm always interested to hear from people who watch my videos, good or bad. If there's anything you'd like me to try out, we'll have a go. If there's anything you want to discuss about this design, um, first of all, yeah, leave a comment for me. I'm also going to leave a link to Bob's page on in the description as well, so that you can go over and see the original video regarding this transmitter. And hopefully you'll enjoy his videos as much as uh, I do. Now, Bob has only just started making videos, but he's been very helpful to quite a few YouTubers already. And he's He's been cajoled into making his own videos. So yeah, by all means, go and check out Bob's channel. Again, I'll put a link to his channel in, in the description and on the end cards. If you want to see more from me, there'll be a couple of videos to one side or the other of my wonderful smiling face on the, on the page. Um, I'm just trying to think which way round it is. To the viewer uh, to the left of my face and again if you haven't subscribed there's a subscribe button in the bottom thanks very much for watching hopefully we'll see you on the next one bye for now